And down in Hattiesburg, the Golden Eagles are flying into the NCAA tournament for the eighth year in a row. And to add to that, they're coming in as Sunbelt Conference Tournament champions for the second year in a row. The difference is that they have a new head coach in Chris Ostrander, who, was, who has a Sunbelt title in his first year as a head coach. The players have responded to their new skipper, who has been a mainstay on the staff during the Eric Berry years. But now it's his turn, and the team has shown no signs of drop-off under his leadership. He's great. He knows a lot of things about pitching and hitting. Uh, he knows how to win ball games, and that's the best thing you can ask for from a head coach. That's something that he's taught us from day one, even before he was a head coach. Is uh, you know he's kind of instilled in us that fire and compassion that we're going to meet uh, every challenge head on. I, I believed in this group, what we had coming back, what we brought in. I believed in this coaching staff and what they would do to help them grow and develop. And, uh, you know, and this, this program, man, there's just such a, a, a tradition. You know, it's our job just kind of keep it going. And USM will play Indiana for the NCAA regional opener in Knoxville this Friday at noon. All right, that's all for sports. I'll send back to you, Troy and Megan. All right, Joe, thanks. Well, coming up, David has one more look at the forecast. Yeah, and as we had to break.